Guys, it's your girl Tina. I want to go ahead and shout out Maggie Baruco. So Maggie sent me this crazy story. Once again, it's coming out of dreadful ass Detroit, Michigan. So what's going on in Detroit, Michigan is that a bunch of young hood boogers got a taste of their own damn medicine. They wanted to break into this woman's house. They had a fake gun on them, but what they weren't expecting is that this homeowner was a law-abiding citizen who owned her own gun, and she bucked shots at them boys and sent their asses running up the street. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and I will come back with the rest of my George commentary. George Chief of Police is applauding what this mother did and also the outstanding work of his own officers. This surveillance video of three teenage thugs shows what can happen when burglars pick the wrong victim to mess with. As we first showed you last night on Action News at 11, the teens tear down the back door only to discover mom is on the other side, locked and loaded. I let them know I had a gun once they was in the house and they uh, challenged me and said I don't have a gun. So that's when I shot off the first round. Now this video has gone viral. Her husband, thankful he gave his wife this assault rifle just two weeks ago after a different break-in attempt. If I haven't prepared my wife for this kind of situation, I could have came home to a family that was gone. So what do police think about this mom defending her home and her two small kids in this way? The chief of police says she did the right thing. She certainly protected herself, her young children that were upstairs in the residence. She did nothing at all wrong. Even after the victim advised the suspects that she was armed, uh, there was a aggressive attempt to continue uh, to enter into her residence. What happened Monday night on Woodrow Wilson included one of three teens dropping what we now know to be a fake gun. Nonetheless, it was no joke to mom. Or the cops that quickly arrested these guys. The relentless follow-up, a sense of urgency by our officers to sign the number 10 certainly is, which is consistent today in what we see in the Detroit Police Department. Uh, phenomenal police work. Two of the teens are in custody facing charges and have a history of trouble with the law. One even has a prior gun-related arrest. The third is out on bond. Don't forget, this is also a very big victory for the neighborhood considering these teens have been causing problems there for quite a while. From downtown Detroit, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and this whole situation was just crazy. And it's crazy how the boy did not even have enough common sense to just run. He had the audacity to try and come back towards the house and test her again. This just goes to show you how crazy some of these kids in this generation are, is that they have no fear. This woman is blasting at them. With a damn rifle or shotgun, I don't know, I forgot what she had. But she's blasting at them, and one of them has the audacity to pick up their fake gun and go back towards the house. It's like, are you serious? Is your life not worth more than a few fucking valuable trinkets? I mean, this is insane to me. And I'm so glad that this homeowner caught this on tape. This is proof that guns do help. You know what I'm saying? Guns are not bad in every situation. This is proof that they can help because those boys could have came into their house and killed her, killed her children, but she was there to protect herself. And, and thank God that her husband taught her how to shoot and how to defend herself. This is what it means to protect yourself. This is the difference between somebody being a good, law-abiding, gun-owning citizen and somebody having the mentality of a Michael Dunn. This is the big difference. Somebody came to her property. They attempted to attack her. They tried to hurt her and her children. So she fought back in self-defense. What Michael Dunn did was bullshit. And this is a perfect example of what it is to be a good, gun-owning, law-abiding citizen. I say kudos to her as a woman and as a mother for protecting her family from, the, from these damn hood boogers out here who think that they have the right to come onto your property, go into your home, and steal your shit. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Detroit is just off the chain, and I'm happy that the police are fighting back, and I'm happy they're trying to take back the streets of Detroit one street at a time because Detroit needs a lot of help, and it's sad that a lot of the people in Detroit are the ones tearing down their own neighborhoods. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. So let me know your thoughts on this crazy story that's coming out of dreadful-ass Detroit, Michigan. All right, deuces.